Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna go over a draft video for you guys. This is gonna be something that I'm doing new this season. This is kind of like my my power rankings as far as like for the Cowboys pick. All right, so I'm gonna go over seven picks, seven through number one. You know, obviously number one will be my, uh, my favorite pick at the moment. Okay, so I'll, like I said, I'll do a couple of revisions as we go through the draft season. Before we get to that, serious? Cap more time, gold star, bro. Gold star, general. All right. So, let's get right into this list, man. This is my top seven. Like I said, uh, lowest to highest. You know, I'm, I did like a composite. Some of the the names that we're looking at. Uh, this is my list. I want your guys to put your top seven in the comments, and let's get right into it, guys. Here we go. First one on the list that I like at number twenty four. Offensive player, this this could be a surprise to some, but he will be here at the bottom of the first round and could be a target. Jeremy Ruckert, tied in out of Ohio State. A tied in? We're not going to do that, this and that. Man. Okay, so guys, just, just keep in mind, like I said, these this is the early projections, what, what could be needs for the Cowboys and this sort of thing. Just keep in mind, Jeremy Ruckert, he will be at the Senior Bowl. He's, he's, he's already moving up the draft boards little by little from the second already. I'm seeing him sneaking into the first round senior bowl action, you know, uh, it could give him a senior bowl bump there. Okay. But I, I like Jeremy Ruckert, man. I, if you guys been following me for, for a while here, you know, he, I felt I wanted him last year. He stayed at Ohio state. Like I said, solid prospect, um, fits that new mold type of uh, tight end, you know, and sure you could get one later. You know, you can get one anywhere from the first to third round. But if he's there, it's a need, you know, depending on what the Cowboys do at wide receiver, what they do with Schultz, this and that, you know, um, what they do in free agency, obviously. So Jeremy Rucker, keep an eye on him, tied in out of, out of Ohio State. All right. Let's go to my number six player on this list, Traylon Burks, wide receiver out of Arkansas. All right. Again. This is the type of wide receiver that, that would fit into this new age offense. You know, when you think about a Debo Samuel, a Cordell Patterson, and that's what this guy is. Physical, out the backfield, breaks tackles. He's a yak player, yards after the catch. Um, runs a really smooth route tree and uh, good hands. You know what I mean? I think he's solid, you know, coming out of Arkansas. Haven't seen a really solid prospect from Arkansas in quite a while. Traylon Burks is that. Keep an eye on him there. You know, again, we'll see what the Cowboys do in free agency. Let's see what if they keep the receivers. If not, Traylon Burks could be uh, a possibility. You know what I mean? That's why I have him there at number six. Number five on my list, Jordan Davis, the big behemoth, the defensive tackle out of Georgia. Will he be here at 24? That's going to be my question. I think he too is gonna is gonna move up boards right now. You know, defensive tackles they always get that bump. You know, everybody needs one of these big guys. Everybody need, wants the next Jeffrey Simmons, the next or Aaron Donald. You know what I mean? The next Indomitian Sue. So Jordan Davis has a good resume. You know, consistently breaking the, po the pocket, getting in there into the backfield, and getting sacks. Okay, so a big player and i think you know when, when i talk about defensive tackles i don't think we're done here you know especially you bring back you know um dan quinn in seattle he liked he liked some beef there right he, he liked guys that had some beef and they could bring the pressure from the middle because that really affects you know the quarterback's um ability to get the ball out you know so i'm, I'm not sure we're done there but you know defensive tackle i have him here at five Okay, because the Cowboys, there's a drought here. The longest droughts for the Cowboys, positionally, quarterback, defensive tackle, and safety. All right? In that order. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, quarterback, defensive tackle, and safety, we haven't taken one in the, in the first round in decades. All right? It's, it's been a while. All right? It's been, it's been a long time. So, Jordan Davis, keep an eye on them. Number five on this ranking here. He could move up. Uh, we'll see. Number four. On this list, a safety. Okay, Jaquan Brisker, safety out of Penn State. He's on my radar. 
All right, and, and I have a couple of safeties on my radar that I that I really um, starting to look at now. This is another drop, like I just said, right? That's why I kind of have defensive tackle and safety right right in the middle of this top seven because, you know, will the Cowboys actually take a first rounder? And until they do it, you know, even though they may not, but Jaquan Brisker, I think you know if you look at what uh, Mike McCarthy did at Green Bay, they they took safeties there. You know what I mean? And they took them in, in, in right around this area because you know Green Bay usually dropping in the twenties. You know there with Mike McCarthy. And, um, you know, they took some safeties there. So could get some influence there from, from McCarthy, you know, working in concert with Dan Quinn as far as like, hey, you know, well, you know, let's see what they do. You know, do they bring back, you know, um, Curse? You know, you, you have uh, you have Donovan Wilson, but he's injury prone. You can't count on him. So you probably get, you know, a, a low level free agent in the mix. You know, do they bring back Hooker, you know, um, and this sort of thing. So. That's that's a that's something that keep an eye on. Keep an eye on safety. You know, and this could be one of the years where where they actually take one. And Jaquan Brisker, physical, has the has quick feet, quick to the ball, quick to recognize. Uh, you can play him in the box, and he can cover and good speed. Like I said, I think you want to keep that that uh, going here for the Cowboys defense. We got We got to stay fast. We got to stay quick. Because that, that's what these offenses are doing. So you got to answer it. you got to answer with your own firepower. And uh, let's keep it going there. Jaquan Brisker, if he's there, man, that, that might be a steal. Because Kyle Hamilton is number one safety in this draft, you know. Number two for me would be Jaquan Brisker. You know, but, but will he be there? You know what I mean? Will he be there? All right. My number three prospect Tyler Linderbaum the center out of Ohio of out of uh, Iowa all right this is a this is a name that you're hearing right now a lot uh, in the uh, you know the cowboy sphere a lot of people are talking about him um, he, he's definitely would be worth the pick and he could be there at 24 you know centers you know you don't see a center really go high it, it doesn't happen that often so depending on how the picks fall he could be there and definitely he could be a need right so you can do better than than what we have right now tyler biatish he's no longer tyler badass he's just tyler biatish right so um and, and like i've said i'm a big fan of matt farniak i think they're gonna give him a shot at the end of the day this this could be the battle that they do you know they like their players but if he's there somebody that you really have to consider because this is a very athletic center you know, I mean, to me, he's a a little bit like a like a Travis Frederick. You know what I mean? Comes out of the Big Ten. They like to maul. They like to run. They like to pull. You know, their players. So you got to be athletic to do that. Cowboys, they need that. They need that. And so we'll see there. But he's my number three prospect. Number two on this list, going back to defense, Trevon Walker out of Georgia. You know, I've covered him. I still have him as a one-two. That's why I think he'll be here, you know, at, at 24. You know what I mean? Now, edge rushers, it is a very premium position. We know that. So this draft could be similar to the, uh, you know, the 20, what was it, 2017 when we drafted Taco. You know, there's going to be, you're going to have the upper echelon and then you're going to get into the 20s where, where you're going to have some options there, right? So Javon Walker could be that. I covered him before. I like the versatility that he brings to the table. You know, they played him at defensive tackle at Georgia. They played him at defensive end. He had success against that Alabama front. You know what I mean? Uh, over the over the last couple of years. So I like him. You know what I mean? And I think if you put him in the right system with uh, Dan Quinn, somebody you'll have in the mix, definitely an upgrade over what we've had here in, in, in the past, you know, over... You know, some of the guys here that have just been, you know, household names. Time to move on, right? So, Trevon Walker, put him in the mix. Let's see what we can do. My number one prospect, guys. I'm really high on this one. Jermaine Johnson, the second. Not a Florida State. All right. This guy's a, a Georgia transfer, you know. And a just very productive player. You know what I mean? I, I, I like the set of tools that he has in his pass rushing game. Bull rush. Swim move, spin move, you know, um, the power that he plays with, you know, not the most fluid coming off the edge, but he does have, 
you know, some of that bend. It, it, I'm not saying he's stiff at all. I think he has enough of that bend, you know, where, where he can, you know, be uh, a menace to the quarterback. And he was. The numbers don't lie. Turn on the film there. You'll see what I'm saying there. Uh, against, you know, pretty good competition, right? So Jermaine Johnson's my number one guy. If the draft for today, depending on who, who was on the board and who wasn't, obviously we'll see what the Cowboys do at defensive end with the Cowboys. That cap number for Demarcus Lawrence is very, very high, but so is the hit. They may have to work something out there, or he might be a, a you know, a June cut. You know what I mean? So, and what do you do with Randy Gregory? How much is he gonna want? You know what I mean? You you can't sell the farm for him either. Um, so Jermaine Johnson, man, I would love to have this guy. Just imagine Jermaine Johnson. All right, combination of him and Randy Gregory, or him and Demarcus Lawrence, plus. Michael Parsons year two. I think you have a ferocious pass rush if you're able to land your main Johnson. That's why he's my number one pick. All right, this top seven. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this top seven list. Like I said, I'm gonna start doing this power ranking type of, of list for our 24th pick. What names we're hearing. You know, some, some people will fall off the list. Some people will move up. Some people may move down, but right now, Jermaine Johnson, my number one. All right. Guys, give me your list in the comments. I'm curious to see what you, what you guys. Give me your seven to number one. I like to read those. That's all I have right now, guys. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. Catch you for the next one. Peace.